flight dynamics summary. This is from NASA. Look at that. There is a flat Earth. The Earth's curvature is zero. There is a non-rotating Earth. No Coriolis accelerations and such are present. Blah, blah. So why would you even take the trouble to do calculations like these if the Earth is a spinning ball with curved water? I don't understand, man. Oh, look at this. NASA. Investigation of aircraft landing in variable wind fields. And it says there, the Earth is flat and non-rotating. But why? Why would you do this in the first place? Because, oh, I forgot. The globe is for decorative purposes only. I know, and I, I know. Oh, look at this. Flying over a flat, non-rotating Earth. But why? Why take? Why the super supreme engineers? If we live on a spinning ball with curved water in space. Look at the sun at 150 million kilometers away. Amazing. Look at that. The super black bird. And I wonder if this technology was given to us by a superior humanity. So, almost 2200 miles per hour. Remember, one mile is 1.6 kilometers. That's a lot of kilometers. So, meaning it would need to fly downward on the curvature of the spinning ball with curved water of a rate of 9.45 miles per minute as to not end up in space. Imagine that speed, you end up in space. But no, you have to. But does it do that? No. Why? Because it's, you know, we live on a plain level Earth. Everybody knows that. Forbidden to go to the frozen ocean. Attention passengers. We have been flying east for hours, but are getting blah, blah, blah. Nowhere due to the spin. So we're going home. Of course. Do you understand? I, I think people don't. Uh, no, people fly in the plane and they don't care. An airliner climbs and levels off at its cruising altitude. For the duration of the flight, the pilot never points the nose downward to follow the Earth's curve, but the plane never gains altitude. So it goes in a straight line over the level Earth. But of course, the flight paths are what they are. And if you want to go beyond in a straight line over the ocean, it is forbidden. But people don't care about that, do they? So airplanes are supposed to account for curvature, right? Of course, don't blame the pilots. Pilots have, they study very hard. They get super money, super salary for their being a pilot, for their career. Do you think they would risk their career to be called crazy and go and wash dishes in a restaurant or be homeless on the streets of LA or New York? No, or Tokyo or London or any other city in the world. Or like have a, a boring job in a small town. Gyroscope, um, the artificial horizon. I'm not going to read this again because you know it, but you can pause the video and look at the at the beautiful picture of the spinning ball with curved water and the uh, plane going downward and illuminated, illuminated mind. If the earth spins east, why isn't it faster to fly west? I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. No, because you know, if you if you fly in the same direction as the as the spin, then it should be super awesome to get to your destination. The problem is when you fly you, when you fly against the spin of the ball. So let's finish the video with. Uh, oh man, don't you just love your planes? Love your planes. Love your planes, man. I remember. You don't have access as a common mortal to this super technology, but this is like this is like old technology now. Who knows what other super technology they have? See you next.